And there was a slight, just been a, a little slight nudge, especially, you know, as I came home and I reflected on things, am I making the right decision? Cause I know, I know, I know that what you planned out Everything that you built up isn't what you want And I know, I know, I know the life you're living isn't that fulfilling Let me help you out Hello, and tomorrow is moving day <laughs> I got off work early today and so I'm really grateful because you know how you always think, oh, I'm almost done. I don't have that much left. And then there's just all kinds of stuff left. Yeah. Funny story. I had to waste about, I, I, I want to say about two and a half hours, three hours, uh, driving around last night. Um, this is terrible. I, so my car is being picked up and taken to the place I'm moving because I, I don't want to drive all that way. So in order for them to load it up on the truck, they don't really want you to have more than a, a quarter tank of gas in the car. And I forgot this from last time. And honestly, because I've done this once before, not that long ago. <laughs> I haven't really read things as closely as I did the first time. The first time I was a nerd about it. I mean, I read every, every little instruction. Um, and this time I'm like, oh, yeah, I got the gist. And then I saw the quarter of a tank thing, or actually I remembered a day after I, I filled up the tank Thank goodness I don't really live that close to work. That has helped. Um, but, you know, it's kind of, I had to this time. Um, and I'm very, very close. If, if they uh, pick up the car tomorrow, I mean, I could probably, you know, they're, they're supposed to call the day before. I'm anticipating a call tonight. Um, but if they don't, then they'll pick it up Friday and that'll work out even better. Um, I got my, I had a couple of celebrations. Um, the HR group gave me this and the nurse group gave me, <laughs> if I can do this right, gave me this. Um, I got a $50 gift card to Starbucks from the nurses, highly appreciative. Already used it three times. Um, and I got a massage gift certificate for a massage place uh, where I'm going um, from the HR group. And, you know, because they knew I do that regularly. So I'm going to enjoy that at some point. Today, tonight, I'm really just going to, I have a lot more. I keep finding things to throw out. So I have a, a, a stack of things to throw away right there. If you can see, yeah, there it is. And then this, and then there's gonna be a few more things to throw out from the kitchen and the bathroom that I can't take. Um, they don't wanna take liquids and things like that, so any cleaning supplies stuff like that so i'll have to throw all that out so yeah it was a good it was an excellent last day polar opposite from when i left oklahoma my last day there my last week there was a nightmare it was i mean i had three employee relations investigations that were going on at the same time one of them, well, I'm not really going to talk about it, but one of them was pretty serious, potentially. Um, and so it, it was rough. It was really rough. So 
This time was a lot easier. I phased out gradually starting last week. I really have had, I mean, it's been pretty light the last, this past week. Um, and I've really enjoyed it. I've really appreciated it. And there was a slight, just a bit of a little slight nudge, especially, you know, as I came home and I reflected on things Am I making the right decision? And of course I am. I mean, I've been complaining and whining around about how I need a, a change in my career for a very, very long time. Even before I got here, I just didn't. It, it, it's a whole other thing. Um, and, uh, of course, I'm making the right decision, even if for some reason this didn't work out. And it will. I, I really, I feel good about it. I'm at peace with this decision. It doesn't seem wrong at all. And no, nothing's ever a guarantee. Anytime you make a big change, you're taking a risk. But you know what? Staying is a risk as well. You know, whatever choice you make, you're taking a chance. Even if it's just to stay where it's comfortable, that's, you're taking a chance. Because things change. Hi. <laughs> I am in another hotel room. Um, all my stuff has been moved out of my apartment and which is, I, it's hard to believe. My apartment was a little harder to leave. I really liked where I lived. Um, but I'm going to like where I live tomorrow. I'm going to uh, my car is supposed to be picked up today at the hotel. Um, they called last night. They said they'd be here between noon and five. Um, and so I'll just be hanging out here at the hotel this afternoon until they get here. Well, and even after they get here. Um, I'm going to run a few errands this morning. Um... I tried to get the car washed yesterday, and the there was a mechanical breakdown right when I was in line and after I paid, so they refunded me and uh, gave me a, a free couple of free car wash cards. So I'm gonna go do that here in a little bit. Anyway, I'm hanging out at a hotel by the uh, Cincinnati airport. I'm actually in Kentucky, which is where the airport the, is. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna hang out here today and relax. Um, last couple of days, I've done a lot of stuff. I, I don't think I've thrown away so much stuff in my entire life. You know, the last time I moved, I think I mentioned this, I didn't go through my things um, this much. And so uh, I just moved it all here without knowing what all I was moving. And this time I just didn't want to do that. Um, if I didn't want it, I, I threw it out or gave it away. So this morning, I slept for 10 and a half hours last night, taking a shower and sleeping for 10 and a half hours has really helped, even though I could probably sleep for a couple more. Um, let me just kind of show you a little bit. So, so I got soup, right? And I kept telling myself that, hey, you know, before I got here, don't buy canned stuff because you're not gonna have 
you know, your can opener yet? And what did I do? I bought soup because I was like, I just, I feel like it's soup time. And, you know, I guess I could have got one of those other kinds, but I didn't. I got the cans. And so, I was going to have soup last night. Ended up just snacking on a banana and, you know, some other things that the apartment place gave me that's in that popcorn box. And uh, went to bed because I wasn't really that hungry anyway. I was just more tired. Um, just a little bit of hunger. And the bananas and the chips, I got some chips, seemed to work out okay. I tried out my new coffee maker this morning. I had some eggs and blueberry muffin. And much, much needed coffee. And it's been nice to just not have to do anything and sit here for a while. And I'm honestly, I mean, I'm good with the apartment being just like this. I was just thinking, you know, maybe I shouldn't have moved anything. <laughs> Except, you know, like pictures and stuff. Maybe I shouldn't have moved anything and just came here, but there are enough annoying little things um, well, you know what, I'm thinking now, I'm like, I could have eventually just built back up. Would that have been more or less expensive? There's a lot, there's a lot to take in, there's a lot of new stuff, there's a lot of things to learn. Um, Somehow it doesn't seem as overwhelming as when I moved to Cincinnati. I am gonna go. I think I'm losing internet again. Yep, I'm losing internet again. Okay. I'll see ya. Next video will be, I'll talk about my first week at work, I guess, and my first week here and how it went.